In this video, I will be trying to explain how different research trees work, so the tech trees. To find them, top left of the vehicle bar at the bottom of your screen, click the research bar and it will open this window. Here you can see the different lines that you can research. For example, to get the Crusader AA Mark II, I first need to research and buy the AEC AA because there is an arrow connecting them. For certain vehicles, there is not an arrow connecting them, such as below the Sherman II, Churchill I, and the Achilles. This means that to research the Sherman Firefly, Churchill III, and the Avenger, you do not need to get the previous vehicles that are above it. You just need to be able to un unlock this rank of vehicles. To unlock a rank of vehicles, you need to have researched and bought a set number of the previous rank. To unlock the next rank, you need to have purchased a certain number of vehicles of the previous rank. To find this number, you can hover over a rank that you have not unlocked, which will have a red number and a red arrow. So for example, it says rank 7 unlock progress 2 out of 4. I need to purchase two more vehicles of six rank. The two more vehicles in here need to be researched and then bought for me to unlock rank seven. What I like to do when researching vehicles is go up the BR numbers. So I have the reserve tanks. Next, I would unlock the all the one zero vehicles, then I would unlock all the 1.3 vehicles, then the 1.7s, then the 2.0s, and so on. BR means battle rating. This is a number assigned to each vehicle, and this number can change between realistic battles and arcade battle. This number is assigned based on how well a vehicle performs in battle, so a better performing vehicle will have a higher number. Currently from 1.0 to 11.0. There are also steps of 0.3 and 0.7 in between each whole number. Matchmaking works by taking whatever battle rating your whole lineup is, which can be seen at the top of the screen underneath the battle button, and matching you with players that have a similar battle rating for their lineups. This means that any lineup that has a rating of 8-0 cannot see vehicles that are higher than 9-0. What you may hear sometimes is people say this is an 8.3 match. What that means is that the highest battle rating of any vehicle in that match is 8.3. And players with lineups that have a rating of 8.3, 8.0, 7.7 and 7.3 have been put into that match. In a lineup, you want vehicles with battle rating numbers as close to each other as possible. Otherwise, the vehicles that have the lower number will be completely outmatched by vehicles that will be met in a battle. So, for example, my 80 British lineup, I would not take the Churchill Mark 7, as this vehicle would be completely outmatched by any tanks that I would face in a battle. However, because there are only three 80 vehicles in my lineup, I have filled out the rest of the lineup some 77 vehicles. These vehicles, well, maybe not quite as good as an 80 vehicle, are still competitive enough to not be an issue. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Please leave any feedback down there as well.